Hello guys, Antoine here for some architecture and welcome back to the second part of the academy which is a bushcraft school we started building in the previous video and now we are focusing on other rooms so today we are going to do the basement, the second floor and the third floor so if you didn't watch the first video you could check it out right now because in the first one we're building the exterior, the garden and the ground floor with the great hall, some classrooms and the main entrance hall. So yeah, I think it's more interesting to check out the first video before um, watching this one because you will have the whole thing. And also because there's some views and some rooms that you won't see in this, uh, in this video. So yeah, you should definitely check out the other one. So now about this one, uh, as I told you, we are going to build Actually, the majority of the, the build, I mean, everything except the ground floor that we did last time. Um, we start with the basement. So um, in the basement, there are three different classrooms. Um, the one that you can see right now is dedicated to the defense against the dark arts. So of course, it's inspired by Harry Potter, as always. Um, I really wanted this classroom to look a little bit, um, let's say, yeah, buzzy, not not very clean with objects and clutter everywhere. So I, I like the atmosphere of this. And attached to this classroom, there is another room with a cauldron and magic fountain and so on and seats just to be sitting, seated all around the cauldron. I don't really know what it could be used for, but I love the the effect of this. Um, I didn't think about this in terms of functionalities or... Um, yeah, I, I just thought about it um, in a, let's say, almost th theater, theatrical, theatrical. Uh, anyway, I, I was just trying to <laughs> build a stage, you know, with decoration and furniture and so on just to make it look like it's a real place and now we're building another classroom which is as you probably already guessed uh the room dedicated to the potions um so i wanted to give it a the look of a cave with big crystal stones it's a place that is very dark um there is the office of the um, teacher that is attached to this big room. Um, I used a lot of items from the debug mod because we have a lot of potions and ingredients that we don't have in the regular items. Um, the only thing that bothered me about this room and actually all the rooms is that we have this stupid white ceiling and it's so frustrating to have this because we're supposed to be in a basement in a very dark place and have this super white, super clean uh, ceiling. And yeah, it just kills the vibes of <laughs> the room, I think. Um, but I think we're never going to have a, a tool to to design the, the ceiling. I mean, we've been, we've been waiting for it like for, um, yeah, five years and we still don't have it. So I think it's either technically impossible because probably the game was not designed to have this special option or just because they're lazy. I don't know. Um, maybe it's both of this explanation. <laughs> I don't know really. Um, there's also another classroom that you won't see in the speed build. You will have to wait until the end of the video because it was too long. So I had to choose the, base, the best moments. Uh, there is a classroom dedicated to the spells uh it somehow looks like a famous classroom of harry potter where they're yeah training with the wingardium leviosa spell so it was a big inspiration for this and right now you're seeing a very special and secret place uh which is the council room so i imagine a secret room where the professors of the school um would meet together to discuss important uh decisions and topics so i did it in a very dramatic way with big statues lighting those fountains um uh, big chandeliers to give it a very like um official look and there's also this big 
entrance with water and it's actually surrounded by those um, big fountain fishes that we have in the game and it somehow looks like the chamber of secrets of course it was also an inspiration i would not lie if i uh, didn't say it um so yeah it was once again a big inspiration with harry potter but it's not yeah i mean the room doesn't have the same um it's not used for the same thing we're not he we're not hiding young uh, young dying girls in this <laughs> in this room. This is just a council room. Um, now about the second floor that we're just starting right now. The timing is perfect. Um, I built a nurse's office that you can see right now uh, because I think it's important in the Witchwood School to have a nurse's office because uh, I think almost every day there is a child that is injured. Um, it was, it was strange, but it was probably my favorite uh, room to build. Uh, one of my favorites because it was really different, and I never did it before. Um, I actually never used those items that are uh, with the Get to Work expansion pack, and yeah, most of the time I don't use them. So using new items and new functionalities was very cool, I think, and I love this room. After that, there is also the library, which is super cool. I, I just love it. It's probably my second favorite room in this uh, in the school. Um, I'm not saying too much about it. You would see just after the nurse's office. And in this library, there is another secret passage leading to one of the towers. So if you go up, you can have a beautiful view on the lake and on the sur on the surroundings. So at night, especially, it's it's very cool. And then there few rooms that we will see after that there is the common room which is fully inspired by the griffin the common room of course uh, it consists of two separate rooms um, there's a big one with couches armchairs big fireplace tables and another one which is smaller with a bab foot uh, or table soccer well, I have no idea how you call this. In French, we call it baby foot. So probably you get the ID, but you will see in the, in the bill if you don't understand what I'm meaning. Um, anyway, and of course, on each side of the common room, there are a dormitory. So there are two dormitories with in total um, 13 beds, I think. Uh, this is for the children who don't have to go back home after school, you're staying at school. Um, and of course, there are two bathrooms and you will not see it, but there, there are all other bathrooms in the school, um, toilets and so on. Yeah, fine. Um, <laughs> now, the last thing that you will see is the headmaster office, which is on the third floor. Actually, the whole third floor belongs to the headmaster. So, the only thing that I recorded is the office, but you will see in the end screenshots some other things about this apartment, actually. Um, so the public area is the office, but there is a door leading to a big kitchen slash dining room. And after that, there is a bedroom, a sitting room and a bathroom. Um, actually, there is only one apartment uh, for the headmaster, there are some other offices that you will see in the screenshots. They're for the professors and the teachers, but um, the headmaster is the only one to stay at night in this uh, in this school. So, well, maybe he's sharing his, his bedroom with another teacher. We're not here to check out what he's doing at night, but yeah, the idea is that it's only one apartment dedicated to the headmaster. Um, and I think I told you pretty much everything about this school. I I really loved it, really. It was a very fun build, something very different. It was the occasion to use some new items. Um, it is located, as I told you in a previous video, in San Maishuno on the 64 by 64 lot. Um, but it's a public lot. It cannot be changed into a, um, a living lot. Um, so you probably should change it if you would like to play with a family inside of this house. Um, 
I think you can put it in Windenburg on the island, on the 64 by 64 lot in the island. That would be perfect as it's overlooking the ocean and the mountains all around. So, um, but otherwise, if you just want to have this place to spend a, to spend a nice time to visit it and go back home, you can let it cure. Uh, what I love about this lot is that um, you can feel it's in a big city, there are the skyscrapers all around, and I love the contrast between the skyscrapers and, yeah, this old school that is probably 1000 years old, um, that looks very gothic, and yeah, I just love the contrast um, between these two architecture styles, but you can, yeah, feel free to, to put it wherever you want, and I think in Windenburg it would look great. Um, yes, I think now I've said it all about this house, uh, well, this school, sorry. Um, I would be curious to know what you think about it. It was actually the first time that I built such a big build <laughs> dedicated to magic. Um, when the magical uh, gamepad was released, I did sort of manual and also, um, yeah, the magic alley. That was very cool also with all the shops and it was actually a magical street. Uh, but except that I didn't do anything with this pack and now it was the occasion to, to come back to it and it was very good. So I know there are just some people who are very active with this pack. They're playing all the time with the sorcerers and so on. I don't, so I would be curious to know what you think about this school. Is it the place where you would feel like playing or not? Um, yeah, just tell me. And actually, I play tasted it, so everything is working, even the special door leading to the common room, which is actually... Um, yeah, I assembled two items, so a door and a painting, just to pretend it was like in Harry Potter, where you have to say a password to the portrait so you can come in. Um, well, it works. Actually, your sims are going through the portraits. It's not happening or anything, but it's working. They're not stuck in front of the door. Um, yes. Now, uh, for the next build, as you know, I am stuck home, like most of you, I think, because of the virus. Uh, so I have a lot of free time. So uh, I'm playing The Sims, I'm watching series on Netflix, I'm waiting for Disney Plus, Disney Plus um, to watch other series and movies. And I'm also playing, since yesterday, Animal Crossing. So I have a lot of things to do. Actually, my whole house is super clean, super tidied up. Uh, I have time to cook, to rest, to take care of myself. Um, so actually, I don't live this moment as a punition or anything i'm just home and yeah sometimes it's nice to have a rest so this week i was skipping working because um i'm doing i don't know how you call this in in english but we call it teletravail it means um yeah work from home i think that's the phrase i was looking for work for home from home um but next week i will be well not unemployed i'm still belonging to my company but it means that all the people stop working until we can reopen because as you don't know, I'm working um, in a company which runs many cultural places, including museums, art centers, and digital art centers. So they're all closed. So we're losing a lot of money. So I'm stuck home and I don't have anything to do except doing videos. So. Expect probably a bit more videos in the uh, in the coming days and yeah, now it's time for me to leave you I think I talk too much enjoy the end of the video and I will see you next time. Bye